Hi right, you guys, got another quick video here for you on how to remove security protection. Now security protection is a fake or rogue uh, security program that claims that it's uh, scanning your system and finding loads of infections on your system. Now this is uh, fake because obviously none of these infections are on my system because this is a clean machine. So uh, I'm going to be showing you how to remove it anyway. Now what they will do is they'll list up a load of stuff down here that will probably frighten you and make you want to buy the software to remove the actual infections that they claim that it's finding okay so don't fall for that it is fake and uh, let's go through the motions here I'll quickly go through as you can see pretty uh, convincing user interface here um, you've got the full scan going on there and as you can see they're starting to use nasty words here to frighten you into paying for the software because you won't want that on your system okay so uh, I'm not going to bother showing you where to buy it because it might confuse you uh, into buying it but don't uh, pay for it so how can we kill it well we can't actually use anything on the desktop because it closes it all down so if you try to do command prompt or anything like that from here as you would expect it shuts it down okay reg edit and all that it does the same thing internet closes it down straight away now you could go into safe mode and do it I'm going to show you how to do it from the desktop so the first thing I would do is right click on the icon uh, security protection on the desktop here and go properties and there you will see where the file is located and it's called defender.exe so now we know what it's called now we can find it and kill it okay so this is where it's located here so I'm going to copy from there and then we're going to have a little look inside our C directory here what I like to do first is go to organize file and search options and then go to view and then show hidden files and I like to unhide the, the operating system files and file extensions here okay so what we can do here is uh, up the top here um, you can see up the top we could actually just paste that location in which will actually take us to uh, defender.exe now from here because I can see the the executable part I could just rename this if I wanted to uh, and then reboot and then that will stop it running um, I'll show you another little way to do it anyway so what we're going to do first is come down to my computer I'm going to go Windows and then we're going to go System32 inside there I'm going to come down to the T's okay where it says uh, Task Manager that's what we want Okay, so come down where it says Task Manager, which is there. Now you can copy this onto your desktop. I'm going to paste it up there for you. Let me just move this down so you can see what I'm doing. And this is the file. Now, if I try to click on this, it's going to close it down. Okay, but what we could do is rename this file. Okay, so I'm going to call this Explorer. Oh, it would help if I spelt it right explorer.exe and uh, when you click on this now it should allow you to open that so what we're going to do here is find the file that's causing the problem which is this one and I'm going to end that process once I end that process we should be able to get it and there we go so what we need to do now now we've killed the process we can now close this off we don't need that file anymore so we go back to our location now you can either go this way or you can go the old fashioned way and go into users and then your account and it will be this hidden out file folder here called app data and in roaming and that's where it lives there okay and we can now delete this file it's gone now we should have internet access as you can see and I would advise you to run scans on the system malware bytes and TDSS killer something like that just to make sure that your your um, system is clean I'd run these uh, applications and also you want to be running malware bytes as well okay remember guys always update um, your software before you use it so run full scans on this like so and also you want to make sure that you've got the latest definitions of malwarebytes and then run a full scan 
on that and you should be good to go after that okay anyway so I hope you enjoy these videos I hope it helps you out my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys remember please hit that subscribe button share your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them okay and uh, the links down below for the forums if you've got any problems you can delete this uh, by the way uh, thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now